This is Gene Key for SkyServe News. Police say a 10-vehicle wreck on Interstate 35 in Central Texas happened when a truck driver stopped because his oversized load was too big to fit under an overpass. Waco police say one other person was injured in the incident Tuesday morning that tied up northbound traffic for nearly two hours. Investigators say the driver of the 18-wheeler hauling a tank-like container was either stopped in the two outside lanes or was backing up when the other vehicles could not break in time. Eight smaller vehicles and two trucks piled up but did not hit the original rig. Texas troopers are investigating whether the driver with the oversized load had violated any traffic laws. According to KHOU.com in Houston, a 14-year-old Baytown girl who went missing on September the 2nd was forced into prostitution by a couple from DeSoto, Texas, investigators with the Houston Police Department said. Tuesday, Kara Benjamin, 19, and Melvin James Bell, 25, were arrested Sunday and charged with compelling prostitution. Police said the suspects, along with the victim, were picked up at a motel in the 3100 block of West Sam Houston Parkway. Benjamin and Bell were being held Tuesday in the Harris County Jail. The victim was also in the police custody, according to the mother. Investigators said the victim ran away from the home. It was not clear how she became involved with Benjamin and Bell. WFAA.com from Dallas report Dallas Zoo officials say a chimpanzee escaped from her enclosure on Tuesday morning. Officials said Coco got out of her bedroom and roamed into the hallway. Zookeepers were cleaning her cage when they realized she was not in her normal area. She got out of her bedroom but was still in a confined area. As a precaution, the Wilds of Africa exhibit was evacuated. A code red was issued. That means a dangerous animal is on the loose. The female chimp was discovered and tranquilized. No one was hurt. This is not the first time, though, that wildlife has gotten loose at the zoo. In 2010, a female gorilla got out of her exhibit. She was found on the roof, tranquilized, and returned to her habitat. A male gorilla got loose back in 2004. He scaled a retaining wall and attacked three people. He was shot and killed. Zoo officials said an investigation has been launched. This is Gene Keyes. SkyServe News.